Well, we're feeling very positive about it. I mean, it's been a lot of time uh, in the making, a lot of work uh, by a lot of different people. The Ontario government announcing its new autism program is scheduled to start in March with 600 children with plans to expand to 8,000 by the end of 2021. This comes after the government's Autism Advisory Board submitted 79 pages of recommendations leading to the new needs-based Ontario Autism Program. Yeah, COVID has been exceptionally difficult on all families, but increasingly difficult on families with children with special needs. Uh, I've been hearing from those families over the last 10 or 11 months and have a pretty good understanding of, of what it is that they've been, been facing. And it has been a challenging time. It was a painful announcement. You know, we've, we've um, put our blood, sweat and tears into trying to educate this government about how they can best help our children while using taxpayer dollars really well. City News has been hearing from parents like Kristen Ellenson who say they're not on board with this new plan. The government is trying to recover its reputation in the autism community after its mishandling of funding changes to support programs in 2018. After that plan resulted in province-wide protests, Ontario initially pledged to set up a new system by April 2020, nearly a year later. Parents tell City News this plan misses the mark for one main reason. The problem with how they're going to disperse funds. Um, what people need to understand is there's a lengthy wait list with over 40,000 children sitting on it. A lot of those children have been waiting four, five, even six years. And so what that means is when you have a program where funding is allocated based on age, those older children who often have high levels of need are discriminated against. So what I would say is, uh, you know, all of the decisions that, that we've made have actually been made uh, by clinical experts and advocates in the community, whether they were at the Ontario Autism Advisory Panel table or whether they were part of our implementation working group. So we as the ministry and the government of Ontario have followed all of the advice uh, that we've received from those two tables. Smith adds the government has committed $600 million annually to the new program, which has doubled the amount since they took office. We also heard from the Ontario Autism Coalition, who is critical of the new plan, noting the government had nothing but time to get this program right, but has stalled and delayed as families have been waiting for core services that their children need now. In Toronto, Brandon Rose, City News.